Now, the Aegis Hammerhead. This is perhaps one of the most popular ships in the game. Um, it is beloved by players all over the verse. It is a massive cruiser, okay? This baby can fit a massive crew of 20 or more. Um, there's plenty of gun turrets that can be manned by people. Um, and the best part about it is that um, there's plenty of room for Marines as well, right? So this ship is a peacekeeper. That's what it, that's why it exists. It's a peacekeeper. It's there to keep the peace, okay? Um, you see this bad, this bad boy show up, it's going to be a problem. Not to mention it flies like a brick and it's just as tough. So taking it down <laughs> is, is laughable, okay? You, you're really going to have to use a coordinated um, strike team to take this thing down. You'd have better better luck boarding it from the inside and taking it uh, taking it down that way than going from the outside. But as you can see, there's a, this ship is like a mini labyrinth, okay? Because there are so many doors and places to go and wind up. And then this is like just a straight up rear of the ship. Which I wonder. Nah, can't open that. I don't want to open it, honestly. So this will take us to the bridge. And there's the ladder right there. Which is what I was looking for. So this ship, we definitely want to um, take a spacewalk. So it's got room for our pilot and a co-pilot. So if you have as many members on a ship to man gun turrets, <laughs> you really, you really don't need um, much else. And we're going to be going up, up, up. Are you ready? Aegis combat assist activated. So yeah, I did that panning just so you can like get an appreciation of just how massive this ship is. But yeah, the door that I couldn't get open actually opens to the front of the ship. And it may be more docking, it may be used as a troop deployment platform. Easy does it. Tight squeeze. Tight squeeze. Landing gear up. Thank you. And please visit again. So, massive ships, you definitely can feel the difference, um, because it's a, it's a brick, it's a giant brick, that's for sure. And of course, there's the horizon down below. And my favorite thing 
about cruise control is I don't have to be in the pilot seat. And the ship will just do its thing automatically as long as I find a good angle and I'm not shot. Because it has its own gravity and will override the gravity of the planet that I'm on. So, the lights are on. We came from this direction, actually, I think, yeah. And this is the front of the ship. There it is. So I can literally walk out and fall to my death here. But there's all of New Babbage in its glory. And we're just about to pierce the clouds. So this door makes spacewalks a ton easier because you're not by you know you're not falling into some small little hole but yeah that's uh that's glorious i'll i'll leave the door open because i don't ever really have to worry about decompression. That will be coming with later updates so. though. So let's go ahead hop in the turret which is a lot more secure than the um, Andromeda's turrets. Aegis just did a better job really. I think I'm still in the arms of the zone. But yeah, you can just appreciate the beauty of the planet from the safety and security of this gun turret. And as we saw, there are several alongside the ship. Okay, so now let's explore some more. And this is the windowed area, which we're going to definitely be coming back to once we go on our spacewalk. But as you can see, like, look at how massive the ship is. No wonder it's a favorite. We've got escape pods here. We've got another turret. Like you could literally turn the interior of this ship into a, uh, a map, like a first-person shooter map, like seriously. It's even got... It's even got an engineer station, which used to work better before the most recent update. So that flight map is not supposed to pop up. It's supposed to just show you like the ship telemetrics, ship telemetry, like shield heat, engine power, things like that. And maybe um, in future updates we will have actual engineering duties. So like let's say you take damage or something in combat, um, engineers can keep your ship running. Maybe um, give engineers the ability to make your ship more fuel efficient if they're present on the ship and they're actually working in the engine room, like apply an engine tune or something like that. You know, to make players feel more a part of something. Here's the barracks right here. Just self-explanatory. And then we got the bathroom here, toilet here, and shower here. And where else did we see this, this combination? Well, no, that's actually just another uh, bathroom. The shower, I guess this counts as a shower. It's a leaky pipe. <laughs> um, Nah, this is probably the shower right here. But yeah, two toilets 
and we can leave those doors open. And now we are in the engineering. And as you can see, the engines are humming. place to be but it's comfy and then this is going to take us to our rear turret whoa okay that's quite the inversion okay we've just left, left the arm armistice zone uh weapons are now online and power this baby on ages combat assist activated systems green. so we're not heading towards a mountain and we are just about breaking atmo as you can see, this thing has a lot of speed, which is which is great. It turns fast, the guns fire fast. It's what you want. here looks like a mess hall um, you know we've got <laughs> a bean spigot a water and coffee spigot um, so you can choose between water coffee and milk and you know I guess there's a little cooker here for your meals so yeah um, this is the mess hall it's a lot of um, open space here it's definitely not inviting but it is a military vessel um, and these monitors here can probably, you know, be, I don't know, some entertainment or something that may come with future updates. And then, of course, this is the engineering bay with power banks and all that set up. And the pantry where you can put, you know, perishables. And, of course, we have that beautiful view of Microtech as we move further and further into space seeing that these ships have their own gravity, we can just move freely. Okay. Whoa, okay. There we go. So, it looks like this little section of the ship is isolated. So it doesn't look like I can from here cross over to the other side of the ship. But we are on the upper side of it. And if we remember the ship's design, it's actually forked. are the captain's quarters right through to engineering so this is where you can summon your crewmates or talk r and r you can read everything i know about dog fighting i learned from my fish tank you know interesting books like that and then of course sitting in the captain's chair being a badass Somehow, when I'm in the captain's chair, I get to see my entire ship, which normally is not supposed to happen. But I guess it's cool, because I can't fly it from 
here. Interesting bug. <laughs> Very interesting bug. Alright. And then, of course, this is where the captain sleeps. So, captain has... This is her own toilet. I don't know how the fuck this toilet works. I really don't. I don't see where the poop goes. Maybe it's vacuum powered or something. I don't know. It just seems messy. Um, and then there's the shower. And then Captain can just leave here and hop immediately in a turret. You come under attack and you're asleep. Just hop out of bed. Hop in this turret. So yeah, I really like where the captain's quarters is located because just, you know, it's a military ship and you're literally like right across the street from a gun turret. You come out of your room and boom. Alright, so bridge is this way. Components section. Let's check this place out. Oh, we were, we were in a room like this on the other side of the ship. So, captain's quarters, upper deck, cargo engine room, bridge, another turret. The other component room. Alright, so we pretty much ended up back where we started. So we do not want to step out there. But that's how you exit the ship. And then of course there's the elevators that lead outside of the ship. Which you'd be a fool to try and take. Just barely. We're only halfway out of ammo. And if we check our heat levels, let our engines cool off a little bit. But since we're not in ammo anymore, we can kick it up. But we're still within the reach of gravity, obviously. Only 5,000 meters above Microtech's surface. We have to double that number before we are in orbit. Yeah, as you can see, the missile bay is all of it, so intricate. 
like you do not want to fight a hammerhead. You just don't. Like this ship is nasty. And there's a landing gear animations. I mean, look at the thing, you know? It literally has five man turrets and a fuck ton of rocket pods. No, make that six turrets because there's the there's the one on top here. Six man turrets. Okay. Rocket pods everywhere. And a deployment hatch. Not to mention two elevators. Okay. So if these guys wanted to just send a squad of marines to fuck you up. Yep. Easy. Your hammerhead will let you do that. Alright, so now we are bringing this brick back. And because it's a brick, it's going to take some time to slow down. Definitely easier to speed up than it is to slow down. Right, we are at zero velocity. Time for our space walk. So as you can see, this bridge is protected, not only for unwanted people coming in, but also decompression, wreaking havoc in the rest of the ship. Like this ship was designed with so many considerations in mind, like the blast door right here protect against decompression and then the last little bit before you just step out in space so yeah there is the Aegis Hammerhead So we're viewing the ship upside down, so this is not how it looks normally. And there is the bridge. And here are the elevators, right here, the docking ports. And then this is the midsection of the ship, which saves a lot of weight, by the way. <laughs> Just uh, making this entire part hollow saves a lot of weight. And if you're taking fire, some of the rounds will actually go through this part instead of, you know, colliding with the ship's hull and damaging the ship's superstructure. So, it's actually a uh, clever design. So, 
So yeah, it's um, it's a marvel, and you can see why players love this ship so much. You can really see why. And there is Port Tressler over there. That's the Aegis Hammerhead. On to the next ship. <laughs> it's faster to just kill yourself in space than it is to fly all the way back to Earth or to Microtech and spawn. So hopefully I clip again. I doubt I will, but I just want to capture that free fall. Nope. But I'm glad I did catch it the first time because I doubt it'll happen again. But alright, we're back and um, on to the next ship. <laughs>